Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. So Ubuntu has recently announced a huge breaking news that they will replace GNU core utilities with Rust. <laughs> Shraggy, what does that mean? I'm going to talk about it in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Ubuntu has announced plans to replace the GNU core utilities with Rust-based implementations, starting with the upcoming Ubuntu 25 dot 10 release so this significant change aims to modernize the operating system by adopting more memory safe and potentially faster alternatives to traditional unix utilities now here's the key points right here's the meat and potatoes of this we have the replacement plan ubuntu in intends to use programs from the utils project which is a rust rewrite of core utilities like you know the cp mv etc now the motivation is the primary reasons for this change are enhanced security, you know, through memory safety and potential performance improvements. Let me know if you think it actually needs security improvements in the comment section below. Then we have the implementation. So Ubuntu has developed a tool called Oxidizer to allow users to, you know, and developers to test the Rust based utilities before they become, you know, the default. The timeline, the goal is to make utils you know, implement implementation the default in Ubuntu 25.10 and potentially in the next LTS release, Ubuntu 26, you know, and you know, we have the license change. So the Rust implementation, right? That 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 is that is, I guess you can say, one of the major obstacles is you know the uses of the MIT license. While the GNU core utilities use the GPL license, which has raised concerns among some users. Now, the way that the way that this change will impact existing Ubuntu users, yeah, 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 you guys are not gonna have it what you thought you did, they changed it on you. <laughs> so this change to replace GNU core utilities with Rust-based implementations, it has a whole bunch of things, right? The security enhancement is one, Users may benefit from improved security due to Rust's memory safety features, potentially reducing vulnerabilities in essential system utilities. We have the performance improvements, so some users might experience performance gains as early tests suggest that certain Rust implementations, like the sort command, can be significantly faster than their, you know, GNU counterparts. We have the compatibility concerns. So why? So while the Utils project aims for 100% compatibility with existing tools, users may encounter subtle differences or issues during the transition period. We have the testing period is another one, right? Users will have the opportunity to test the new Rust-based utilities using the Oxidizer tool before they become the default, allowing them to identify and report any compatibility issues. We have the automatic updates. So existing Ubuntu users will likely receive these changes through regular system updates, particularly those using Ubuntu 25.10 or later versions. There's, a, there's also a potential learning curve, right? Some users, especially those familiar with GNU utility specific behaviors or options, may need to adapt to any differences in the Rust implementations. There is the license change too, right? The switch from GPL, which is the GNU utilities, to MIT license, the Rust implementation, may have implications for users concerned about software licensing. You know, though this is more relevant to developers and distributors than typical end users. Now, here are the main benefits of using Rust over GNU for these utilities. You know, you have the enhanced memory safety. So Rust's ownership system and strong type checking help prevent common bugs like the null pointer dereferencing and buffer overflows, which can occur in C programs. So this improved safety is crucial for essential system utilities. We have performance improvements. So Rust's performance is comparable to C, often providing faster execution times and lower memory usage due to optimizations and zero cost abstractions for instance uh tilde tilde till D reported reducing memory usage from five gigabytes to 50 megabytes by writing uh, or rewriting certain java http endpoints in rust 
we have the concurrency handling so rust right built-in concurrency model allows for safe and efficient handling of multi-threaded tasks potentially leading to better performance on modern multi-core processors another one we have is the modern language features so rust offers modern programming concepts and a growing ecosystem of libraries like crates which can facilitate easier development and maintenance of these utilities and lastly we have the you know compiler efficiency so compared to the gnu compiler collection the rust compiler which is the rust rust c plus l l v m shows higher speed and produces lightweight software so that is what i have for you today please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you gain value and you want more videos like this hit that subscribe button hit the like button also let me know about your opinion in the comment section below do you like this new development yes or no see you in the next video